It is tourney time on Full Court Friday. Salt for girls looking for the Vermilion County Championship against three seed Bismarck heading Rossville. Alvin Bracey Heard goes for three. Not quite, but in a flash, there's Bracey Heard to keep it. Salt for ball. Sailor pick it. Able to get the score there. Now Alexa Jameson with the ball, plays hot potato, gets it back, and sinks the three. Rowdy home crowd for the storm. They had to move this one from Dak Brett. Blue Devils try to make some noise. Taylor Remley steals the runaway ball, takes it all the way to the house, and she gets that to go off of the glass. Defense was big in this one, and it is a big win for the host, 38-11 the final day. Third place game, Hopestead area squaring off with Georgetown Ridge Farm. Tight game between these two. <laughs> Speaking of defense, had a lot of that tonight in the, the, the Vermillion County title game here. Addy Shepard, the layup, Riley Cox gets the block all the way for the score there. They keep him coming. Ari Sigarol with the jumper from just inside the arc. Buffalo's answer right back. Kendall Robinson. Roberts boxed out, goes for two, getting it up. How about some uh, offensive putbacks there? Tough one. Sydney Shepard there. Jerks win it 38 to 31. Best, best mascot in sports. Corn Has sport. to be. All right, now across the viewing area to the Springfield City Tournament. Top seed Sacred Heart Griffin gets three seeds southeast on the girls' side of the tournament. Passed out to Maggie Fleshley. Pulls up just inside the arc. Little help from the backboard there. But she gets it to go for two. Now a three attempt for SHG. No good, but Fleshley. Offensive glass grabbing the rebound. Gets the turnaround shot to go. SHG now pass out to the wing. Nora Long steps into it. Knocks it down as well. Cyclones playing like the top seed in this one. They grab the win on the second day of the city tournament. 45-37, the final there. I've seen all the girls basketball here on a Friday night for Full Court Friday. On the boys' side, Lanphier trying to shake off the heartbreaker from last week against SHG. Lions top seed, but they are playing from behind. Bryce Musgrave with the three. He is pumped up. Crowd always ready to go at City and Springfield. Miles Montgomery with another triple. 22-13 Cyclones lead after the first before the Lions come to life. Shaughnessy Hatchet Jr., the rebound, the put back. They come back roaring. They are up one after three. And Lanfear come from behind to win it. This one just goes final 64 to 61. The final. I really thought that one was going to overtime. Our last prep visual stop is the 2 4 game on the Boyd Sound Southeast in Springfield going at it in the Boss Center. Thank you, Springfield Center. <laughs> Reggie Rice now going for the two pointer through some contact as well. They called a foul on him there. Now Springfield with it. Brody Scheffler, the three pointer almost. In the corner there, gets that one to go. Now it's Jalen Simmons, rebounds, able to sink that two-pointer as well. As the Spartans playing for the city title tomorrow, they get the win in this one, 61-51, the final there. All right, time for our final break on Full Court Friday. We still got a lot coming yes. up, a lot to break down. We come back, we got more on Terrence Shannon Jr.'s Return to the court for the Illini. He is eligible to play reinstated to the team. Will he be on the court Sunday? One would expect that. He's been out. Granted, his injunction against the university. More on that coming up next.